Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer Miller, also known as Amethyst Winters. I am a mother, co-parenting. I'm a doll, I am an author, and I am a makeup lover. I also want to say a daughter. I am a daughter, but you know, besides the point. So, I am going to do a couple new series. I am rather excited about it. I do not expect them to be total, what would you call them? Uh, what it, I think you know what I'm trying to say. Um, when um, it, what do they call it? Um, it's not going to be training. It's not going to be, uh, it's not going to get a million hits in one day or anything like that. <clears throat> Maybe one day. Don't think anytime soon. But I've been wanting to do these for a while. I have, um, well, to tell you what they are, one's going to be called Sunday Motivationals. The other one's going to be called, um, I'm Sunday. I might change that because I want to be called Monday Motivationals. You know, kind of want to stick with the S theme, but Sunday sermons, Sunday scripture, Sunday, Sunday something, Sunday serendipity. I don't know, but we'll work on the title later. Um, this is the first of them. Hopefully by the time this goes up next Sunday, a week from tomorrow, which this is Saturday when I, Saturday, I'm filming this Saturday, the 9th, 8th, 8th, <coughs> pardon me, but it's going to go up on Sunday, the 16th. If I got that date right, I hope I do. Might be the 17th. I'm thinking it's the 17th. Anyway, it's going to go up. Not in tomorrow, which is, I think, the 9th. I could be off on my days. It might be the 10th. But it's, um, and yeah, I think tomorrow is the 10th. Yeah. Tomorrow is the 10th, so that makes today the 9th. So that means Sunday the 17th. It's going to go up. Anyway, I lose track. I apologize. Normally, I'm a little bit better about it, but not today. <laughs> um they are, these are going to be scripture based. Monday motivationals are going to be similar subjects, except not so much scripture based, just more life lessons. I've been doing some deep soul searching, some deep studying, some deep thinking, and came up with some little tidbits of information that I thought maybe I could pass along. Um, one of the things I'm going to start Sunday. Mm, scriptures? I know, right? Horrible. I should have a title. I should have done that. A little bit of more research. <coughs> Apologies. But I wanted to start off with, um, kind of sounds funny, but I wanted to start off with the Lord's Prayer. Yeah, we all know it. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, da da da. And we all say it in various ways, various a um, little bit different depending on how you learned it, where you learned it, etc. Um, I kind of wanted to break it down. I do want to break it down. Not kind of. I do want to break it down. I'm going to break it down. Um, I'm going to use my own knowledge. And I, next time, I'm going to add some scriptures. Apologies that this time is not. <clears throat> you know what? Maybe I'll just introduce the series and not really go into details or not start it yet. I think that's what I'll do. I know, right? I should have had this planned, but I needed to get this done. I would kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. If I put it off anymore, it would probably never get it. So I wanted to get it up and start it. And apologies about the camera. Um, I'm using my phone. You would be surprised how I did this. <laughs> you probably, yeah. It's not professional, but right now money is tight and I'm going to do that video is probably going to go up in midweek. So you will see that video before this one. But, um, <clears throat> so Sundays are going to be scripture based. I'm going to share with you what I have learned about God and based on the scriptures and based on just life, um, especially life in general. And, and um, on Mondays, like I said, it's going to be motivational. Um, it is going to be stuff that I have learned. One of the things, and I will bring the book on Monday. I see it. I just don't want to leave the camera to go get it, nor it's not quite as important today as it is Monday. Um, when that one goes up, 
That one might be the next day, might be the following week. I do want to do these weekly. They might be bi-weekly at first until I can get a rhythm and then I'll increase them. But um, I've been reading sort of. I started it. I'm going to start reading some more. It's a book called Atomic Habits. It is a very popular book. It is, um, I see it all over the place. I believe it's an Amazon bestseller. Um, <clears throat> I'll read it right now. It says number one New York Times bestseller. So it's got some very good points in there. And I am going to share with you what changes I'm doing in my life. So maybe together in the comments um, and just in talking, we can spur each other on, support each other, encourage each other so that maybe we can get some good life changes going. Um, not saying you have to or need him, basically, but I think it's a fair assumption to say everybody needs a little change in their life. Um, even if you are a billionaire, there is probably an area in your life where you would like to improve. Even if you have the perfect job, perfect husband, wife, whatever, I'm sure there's a niche in your life that I want, sorry, a niche in your life that you wish you could change, that you wish you could do better. Um, this is where this is going to come in handy. I really like the book. I'm going to continue reading it. But what I'm trying to do is make it practical. Um, both of these days are going to be quite, hopefully, life-changing. They are, uh, I believe, what we as people need. I know there's not a whole lot of Christians watching, and there's probably other channels, Christian channels, that other people like where they're better at it than I am, but I still believe that it is a good thing to do. I believe that we could all use it. So that is the intro to my Motivational Mondays for sure. I'm thinking Sunday scripture sounds good because I am going to use scripture. Um, even though I'm using the Lord's Prayer, it's still in, it's still scripture. And it's, I'm going to use scripture to support what I'm talking about. So yeah, we'll call it Sunday scripture. I like that. Sunday scripture. Um, stop saying I'm Jen. I'm also, I'm going to give a little bit of a nugget of information. I am going to be doing some homemade gift boxes. This is going to be stuff I make. A couple things that will be in there will be some homemade pencil jars. One second. Okay, this is my homemade pencil jar. I made this. You could also change this into a brush holder, either paint brush or make a brushes. Um, there we go with the M's again. Anything that you can fit in here. I just, I repurposed jars. And this is what started the craft thing, if you will. But then I got to thinking, I can make me some head, uh, headbands. So I am going to be making headbands as well. All right, now I am, the colors I am doing are going to be more winter-based, more bold jewel tone colors. And um, I know, try not to say the young, but here we go. So, and then hopefully... With each season, each holiday, I can incorporate different colors and stuff. At this moment, I am not doing like a strict Christmas one, a strict Halloween one. However, hopefully, again, hopefully those words, by next, I'm going to say by 4th of July, maybe even Easter. Easter kind of intimidates me with the fact that it's just right around the corner. I know six months, but it feels like it's tomorrow, especially when I think about the work that's going to go into this. Um, yep. There we go with them again. <laughs> but I think, um, 
I'm going to shoot for the 4th of July, but maybe Easter. So yeah, I'm going to do different colors, different styles. And these boxes are going to range in prices from probably around $25 on up to about $125. Reason being the other two things. Okay, I'm just going to say it right now. I'm going to also do keychains, homemade keychains. I know, right? No, I'm not going to make the little roundy rupee things themselves. I'm buying those. And I'm buying most of the pieces, but I'm going to, yeah, artfully decorate the stuff. And they're going to have little wooden tokens or whatever you want to call and attached. So that's that <coughs> part of me. And I am going to be making um, home. We're going to scratch the word home and just say, I'm going to make them purses. They're going to be kind of patchwork where, you know, I'm going to, you'll see, I will show examples when I get them done. And the biggest one is, and the most time consuming, which I'm hoping to get started in the next few days, but I got to buy materials first. It's, the materials aren't so pricey on this one as far as the others are pricey, but the it's time in this one that's going to be the most. So, um, sorry blankets i am going to crochet blankets those don't expect those to sell as fast as the other stuff but i don't know about you but we could all use a good blanket i mean we buy some so often and so often i'm always on the hunt for a good blanket i'm going to make these big uh long and not so much wide as long I find one of my biggest problems is when I get a blanket, buy one at the store, it, yeah, you can find the $5 ones, but they never go, I feel like they just never cover me. I'm always, and I'm not that tall. I'm only 5'4", so a little under that at that. So it just, it doesn't, I don't know. I want to make these like about 72 inches long. Maybe even a little longer than that. Maybe like, maybe like seventy-eight, uh, which is six and a half feet long, and um, a good, you know, arm to arm length, which is they say. So it's I guess that would be mm, probably anywhere from forty-eight to forty-eight to sixty inches wide, uh, and they will be multicolored. I'm gonna choose some very neutral, very more popular colors they will be colorful but not probably no more than four and right now I'm thinking three so three different colors definitely um and they will be customizable so will the headbands and so will the keychains and so will the purses <laughs> um purses maybe yes but more later on what I want to do with this, I need to come up with $2,500 like ASAP. This is why I'm doing this. I have three loans. The final loan was $2,500 and it was way more than I could afford to pay back. <clears throat> it's not the $2,500 that's causing the problem. It's the fees. Uh, the fees are just exorbitant and I just can't afford it. I'm also going to toss in these first... 12 boxes, a couple of um, goodies per box. They're going to be surprise goodies that the owner will not know about until they unbox it. So I so sincerely hope you guys will help. <laughs> um, that's why I think I'm going to label this video, Help Me and Introduction to Two New Series. I love doing makeup. I like doing makeup not so much on video as I do as I do to music or watching a video or something because the way I have my room set up I'm it, I live in a two bedroom apartment and I'm in the, sorry if you hear my son oh my gosh he just has no idea how loud he is apologies he's just who he is but um I have a, a it's the master bedroom and there's a add-on or a bathroom inside the 
you know what I'm trying to say. You know what they call it a, a, the I forget ensuite ensuite bathroom. So oh and I just turned my TV so I can see it and I listen to it while I put on makeup and that's what I did today. So I hope you follow me on Instagram. I hope you can. Um, I would love it. I would love it and hope you can help. I am so I'm going to start on. I know I haven't started the headbands every weekend. I come short of time. I probably will not get them started till Thursday. I work nine to six and I, by the time I come home, I'm exhausted. I know that's like everybody's major schedule, but I'm used to working five to two. I'm used to having that two to six right there to do things. And now I don't have it anymore. So whew, fly. So now that I have thoroughly annoyed you, uh, took up your time, whatever you want to say, I so appreciate you stopping by. I hope that you will check out the other videos and I hope that you will, um, if you do purchase a box, I hope you enjoy the items. I will put all the quality and love and care into making it exceptional. It will hopefully not be just normal headband. However, I can only use what I have on hand, which isn't a whole lot. So I do apologize if they do not see extraordinary, but they are quality. They I will put my heart and soul into it to make them quality made. So having said that, thank you. Thank you so much for dropping by. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe, hit that notification bell, give me a thumbs up. It would be so appreciated and possibly even comment down below. What do you think? Um, oh, FYI, these boxes are, you probably might think, really? I could go to the Dollar Tree and get this for so much cheaper. Yes, you probably can. You're helping out a good cause. It is my personal cause, but you're helping out a good cause. If you would like to know the details below, or if you would like to know the details, let me know and I will shoot you a message offline because I don't need everybody knowing my business. <clears throat> but if you would personally like to know, even if that's 20 people, I will tell all 20 people. It all depends who the person is. But I do appreciate you all and thank you so much. Have a great day and I hope you guys do check out my other videos that are going to be up on Sundays and Mondays and when I can get these products up and online. Hope you check them out. I hope you'll have a great day and, and wherever you are in your day, afternoon, evening, morning, have a great one and I will see you in my next video. Bye.